Hi everyone. I just thought we might have a bit of an experiment. Just want to show you this. This is a lovely needle felted art design I did, but I just did it on calico, just ordinary cloth. Um, just to experiment to see how well it went through. You can see it really does. So I thought, okay, let's see what else we can do. So follow me here and we'll see. Now here I've got a just an ordinary piece of uh, patchwork fabric which I quite liked because it was grassy looking and um, this is just a I don't even know what it is it's just white and it's kind of fluffy I don't think it's a wool felt although it's something similar it's sort of more woven don't know don't really care because I think it'll work so I grabbed out just a few little pieces here of wool roving I, whoops here is my barbed needle for felting needle felting and uh, we would like to have it you know the white to be more like um, you know more like something like a sky and we could let the white bits come through and that would be fine too you know that's that's the clouds so we don't have to use too much, whether it will, mm, through this other. I, I kind of want to have, I'm going to put something like that there. And I'm going to go both sides of the, of that. I don't want it to be a, a um, straight line, so I'm just putting a bit of wool on there. A little roving. Might need to hold it a bit before I can that started and that worked I think I guess I can see it started to come through mm, okay might, might be a bit better I've just downed the light a little bit so yeah I, that's my thinking that I'll do something that you know uses a snippet of this a snippet of that see if we can make a little picture somehow hills here breaking up that edge of that material that I used I'm also going to just do a few simple stitches of embroidery it's just looking to see how quickly and easily we might be able to do a nice little picture here now I do have a bit rusty but this has got four prongs so when you use it quite a lot at the same time anyway so that's what I'm looking at now I've used up nearly all that little snippet of pink I can really um, work that in if I wanted to I probably should so I want it to look even more sort of like that what would I do I'm gonna do some shading here because of the blue I've got the blue out so I may as well use it so I've grabbed a few other things here's a yarn it's got some fluffy bits, some furry bits. Don't really know. And this one here is a, a novelty yarn that's got two yarns together. See, they're interwoven like that. But this is an experiment, so we don't mind. I also grabbed a bit of a bit more pink and blue roving. So let's see what we got. Uh, for a start, I wanted this nicer blue. We can really wisp it out like that's lovely. Okay, with much more of this stabbing, I think. 
think I've explained in others, but what all we're doing is we're pushing the fibers of that roving through with the barbed needle so it really melds with the base material and that's what I was meaning about how we get this I don't know if you can see that but the it all comes through so it becomes part of that fabric but I really like incorporating a little bit of this because it's something it's almost like painting a background for you very easily had this and I was just very interested in it so I'm gonna try it it might work I like the idea that we could bunch it up a little bit in places and create some some trees on the hill or just use it flat And maybe here, see how I'm using the needle to suggest a shape because I sort of tease it round and give it a jab. So there we go, that looks more like it. Um, so that didn't take much, I think, to create a nice little background there for a few stitches, and away we go. You might find some interesting pictures online that give you inspiration or a calendar or a picture from your own holidays but i think we can do a little bit more of that it's lovely the sponge that you can see behind the fabric here allows the needle to be pushed into something without breaking and also to allow you to get that roving through the fabric all right so what else did we get out i got out some of this don't know how that'll work i want to take that gold thread out but i won't know unless i try so i'm going to try like i said i can always pull it out i don't think those gold ones would work very well if I wanted to, I'd put a bit of, if I wanted it to stick, if you have a difficult thing there, you'd put a small little bit of your roving over it. And that helps it stay. But I think I'm going to lose, lose this one. Yeah. And just use that. That fits in better with our picture, I think. It's not sticking very well just on that edge not that it matters because I'm not going to be using that edge but just a bit more of that over top of it we're still getting it show but we're getting uh, just it's it's making the pink come in which is what I wanted and it's holding that green down a little better so I think that's just about it okay here we go so I've got a little square surround and here I, I would like to sort of think, do I want this section, that section, more of the white and just have that. Let me see, we've got quite, we've got probably four, four or five different pictures there, depending on which bit we want to concentrate on. And now that I look at it, I kind of like it over that side, but I've, I've lost a lot of this. So in that case, I might sort of mark where it is. Yeah, I'm going to use that because I like that and I'm going to mark here with a, a fabric marker that disappears about here but I don't want to go past there I'd like to and rather than waste this stuff I think I'll just take it off and I'll pop it in the frame that's going to actually have it showing so it's easy enough to remove I'll just pull it up and move the bits that I want so it's going to be in the frame. It's very easily done and it just shows you that it's um it's not permanent what we've done but it will be once we've stitched and done some more. So in essence at the moment we've used cloth, we've used wool, we've used yarn 
And the next thing we're going to use is stitch. Bring that together. And I'm going to ignore everything on that side now because I'm quite happy with what I've got. Let's try a little surround again. Really, that's a, that's a gorgeous little landscape, just as it is. But I think with the addition of a few little stitches, we've really got something. So you can see that I've gathered these threads. I'm going to remove that for now. You know, it might have needed a little bit extra stabbing. It's a bit furry still. Is it going under glass on a, in a nice frame? Then it doesn't matter. Um, but like I say, it's a lot of fun just to sit there and do this. Now, um, I'm assuming you've already seen me do some of this, but maybe not. Let's talk a little bit more about the, the needle. And the important thing is that you go, you might have just noticed I was going in at this angle, or I can go in straight. But the thing is not to go in and then turn before you come out because you'll snap it, it's very fine. So the, the trick is to just go in, whatever direction you go in, come straight out the same way. And don't try and turn it and then bring it out because that's when you'll snap it. And be careful because they're very sharp. All right, so we're concentrating on this, this little area over here. Okay, that's our picture. And I think it's looking quite pretty. All right, we we're going to split this one in two, weren't we? Okay. This is a good idea to hold tension here between the two and to try and run your finger along to unravel them. So sometimes they get in a huge knot, but that's working for me slowly but surely. And I'm going right to the end now. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So now whichever bit I you can see one end's pink and one's green so whichever end i thread then i'm going to have the other end is going to be the color i'm starting with so i think i might start at the top where i want those greens and work my way down to the bottom where i want the pinks just to thinking ahead a little bit i'm going to knot that end so what do we want to do well i do love a french knot i can do them i can keep it simple let's keep it simple so here I am, I am using a variegated thread and I'm just doing a few seed stitches. Now that'll um, shade areas, bring different colours in, perhaps I want some pink brought in in an area of greens. Or I want to trap some of that um, roving down a little better. Like there's a section up here that's a little bare, so I'm going to do some seed stitches there to fill that in. There we are. So some seed stitches is very handy, very simple, very easy. Um, as long as you go randomly, sort of a stitch this direction, a stitch that direction, just little stitches, um, different ways. But also it's very good to just do some running stitch. And that's what I'm doing here. Just in and out, in and out, in a line. And you can use that to pick out some of the hills and, and valleys and lines that you want to accentuate in your design. And also you can make sure that you're just every now and again going through those couch threads or the roving. So just make sure that it's definitely trapped down there and it's not going anywhere. And now the beauty of the French knot. A few French knots will really set this off, especially in the foreground because they can be flowers. Here's where we'll bring in some pinks and just do some clusters of some French knots. Make sure that they're staggered. You don't want them all the same, the same distance apart or anything. So those two were quite close together and now I might do two or three that are all bunched up. And that makes it look more natural than um, 
than if they were equally spaced in one single line across. That's far more attractive this way. So this is just something that you could continue, continue trying all of your different stitches on if you wanted. You could bring all kinds of things in. It's really just a background and you can add as much or as little as you like. And it's very, um, very therapeutic and very creative because you're making it up as you go along. So a few more French knots this side. I'm using a lighter pink this time. Some nice loopy ones. Here we go. I'm having a look at it in the frame again, but I am thinking I might. It's looking a little dull. Maybe a few more colours. So here we are adding a few more in. I've got a dark colour this time. I'll go through it and just add a few more. French knots, a few more. Running stitch and seed stitch. That's all we're doing to finish off. Looks a whole lot more lively, I think. Um, okay, well that's it. And I hope you've enjoyed watching. And if you have, press like and subscribe to my channel. And you'll see some more. If you're looking for me anywhere else on the web, all the links are below. And thanks again for watching. Bye.